Hello, this is my third attempt at shooting this. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, this is for um, on scrapbook.com and then in a group that we're, we're sw uh, swapping mini albums and there's different categories. This one is for in memory of for someone that's passed away. And this one is, in, is specifically for Elisa. Uh, first of all, the back of it is just chipboard and I covered it with brown pigment ink and then embossed the edges where, um, with black. And these are grunge board letters that I cover with red pigment ink and then emboss uh, white. You can't see the texture even if I get it up real close. So this is a prima flower I found on sale and very fun. And there's a flourish back here, grunge board. And then this is page one. It's very simple. This is a tag from Seven Gypsies. All the tags I have in this album are from Seven Gypsies. Um, this is a storybook cartridge that I used. I'm excited for all my cartridges because I only have three. So I, of course, have to mention every one that I have. These are button brads. And this page, um, these are all flowers that I got from Archivers. They are brand uh, Jelly Bean. And the ones that have color on them were used, were colored using uh, walnut ink. And this is a one butterfly back here, a four inch butterfly that I colored with Coffee Shop Glimmer Mist in the Cricut. And then this butterfly is embossed and then I stamped over uh, with a music sheet stamp. This tag pulls out for journaling. Get that back in. And this page is very simple as well. It says, enjoy the little moments in life, picture or writing. Um, and then this tag, also from Seven Gypsies, pulls out. Which I, I keep mentioning that, but I already told you every tag has it is from Seven Gypsies, so I'll stop saying it. Um, and these flowers are, are painted with uh, the coffee mist or coffee shot glimmer mist. And got some bling here as centers. And this says wish and remember, and you can put a photo there if you like, but there's a room for a title or picture. Another tag that pulls out. I'll show that to you. I'm sorry, this isn't in shot. If it's not, I'll have to reshoot it. This is the third time I've tried. First time I didn't, I wasn't very good at it, and the second time it just flat out, um, I wasn't actually recording when I thought I was. <laughs> I'm brilliant that way. Um, in this page, I used Tim Holtz grunge board hinges, and this is actually supposed to go in the stick to the back, these little my um, little paper clips, but this pulls out and you can put a picture and some writing there and the same goes with this one. Let's see if we can get this little, these little things are cute but they are pain in the butt to get back on because they're so tiny. Uh, if I don't do it now I'll forget and I'll end up sending it to her and she's like, why is this not staying closed? So, there we go. And then place for pictures or writing. And that, I didn't even get that one. Well, darn it. There we go. Okay. And these say uh, dream and sweet. And I, I did the edges in um, black soot distress ink. So lots of Tim Holtz in this. I'll put that back. This page is really cool. Uh, I just used vintage piano sheet music. And this pulls out, this is a hinge from Tim Holtz, a little clip. And it says cherish. And then you open it up, and there's all kinds of room for things. So I figured in an album like this, you might want to do a lot of writing to preserve memories. So I left a lot of room for journaling and writing stories and memories and more tags. And this right here, I got a lot of this idea from, uh, let's see, Roxy Carr. 11. Um, she got an album from one of her swapping friends that was really just incredible, breathtakingly amazing. And I got a lot of ideas from, from that. This is one of them. This is just um, a frame that I cut out with the Cricut. And you can, this, you can slide a picture in. The top of it is open. And this is beautiful. And then you just pull this over. There's the back of it. And this page, this is not acetate. It might be technically acetate, but it's just... Um, a transparency, like an overhead transparency you find in schools, and I need to re-glue this. Um, stuff does not like this to glue to this, but I embossed the edges with black ink, and there's a butterfly here, and you can pull these tags out, and you can put a picture there if you like. And my rings are not cooperating with me. And this page, I just lost my, uh, where is it? Here it is. I got this idea also from Roxy Carr and her album. But you just, these just fall out, um, spread out to say love. So, and they just kind of slide into this little ribbon here. 
if I can get it in, that is. There we go. This page is very simple as well. I just used um, glitter to, I used red stickles and then clear stickles, and then I covered flowers with red and white glitter. And these are just red brads, and I embossed black on these flourishes. And then finally we come to the last page. This is supposed to be like a denim jean pocket. Um, I didn't have a pair of jeans that I could tear up. And this is a piece of grunge board. And these flowers I covered with pigment ink from Colorbox. And it, this I also got from, uh, from Roxy Car. And this is embossed and I cut it out just around the edges so it would pop and then I used pop dots. Um, actually, I don't know what the name brand of them is, but I got them at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so there's a journaling card and you pull it out. There's lots of room. That was very easy to make. All I did was just take a 12 inch sheet of paper, cut it down to three inches, and then score it at three inches each all the way down so that I got um, four three inch squares. And that will complete the album. So I really hope Lisa likes this because it will be used for a very um, emotional purpose. And I know that I'm excited to get back from her because she makes great things. So just wanted to share that with you. and. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it got you some inspiration. If you haven't checked out Roxy Car 11, go over there. She's got some great albums and great tips to check out. So make sure you go and see some of her videos. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If I can say thanks again. All right. Well, next time, thank you.